Greetings, I am Stephen Lamb. And I am Rachel Thomas. And we are honored to be 2016 TouchCast Ambassadors. TouchCast has been an instrumental piece in how we educate our children. I'd like you to consider traditional team teaching. You are collaborating with another teacher on a regular basis. Your students are participating in common lessons and they're interacting with each other over common standards and goals. And then finally, these students consider both teachers their primary instructor. Essentially, a harmonious microcosm of comfortable similarities. Now, traditional team teaching may not seem novel, but we have embraced this method and added an important twist. We are not located at the same school. You see, I teach fourth grade at North Star Elementary. And I teach fifth grade at Longfellow Elementary. These two schools are located 11 miles apart. Due to this distance, we, we have created what we like to call virtual team teaching. Hold on a second. What is virtual team teaching, you may ask? Essentially, it is still the methods and foundations of team teaching, but using a digital platform. We use a variety of digital tools to connect our students across this distance. What's great about using TouchCast in our collaboration is that it gives our students a tangible, personal element that allows students to move past a sterile, virtual void. It gives these vastly different school populations an equal footing in digital communication. Our students use TouchCast to truly get to know each other. They can show not just a video to say hello, but use pictures and web links and a variety of other tools that will help the other child get a better sense of who they are talking to. Our students are continually building solid connections, just like Rachel and I, right? No. No. No, okay. As our two classes have become comfortable with this user-friendly tool, they've had the desire to spread its ease of use and value to other classes by device mashing using TouchCast and GoPro. Our students use TouchCast to teach each other anything and everything. This incredible app has empowered our students to not only take ownership of their own learning, but to take the responsibility to teach others. We recently had the opportunity to speak at TEDx ABQ on equality in education. During this process, we had the ability to reflect on our collaboration and were able to truly note how TouchCast is the foundation for effective communication between our two classrooms. It provides reinforcement, reteaching, interactivity, differentiation, and a litany of other valuable educational and communicative skills. The video to our talk will be available this summer. But in the meantime, feel free to visit the TEDx ABQ website, please. We will be highlighting TouchCast and its value to a collaborative classroom at iPad Palooza in Austin, Texas. Come visit us on June 23rd at 9.45 if you're in the area. We will have the opportunity to go into greater depth on how to adapt TouchCast to meet your needs. Please feel free to visit our website to gain a better understanding of virtual team teaching or download our iTunes U course for lesson plans, assessments, and exemplars on using TouchCast in a collaborative nature. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter because he's obsessed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you and see you in Austin. Hello, my name is Laura Gardner and I am a TouchCast ambassador. I have been a teacher for over 10 years and I have been a school librarian for almost that entire time. My job has changed dramatically over time. While promoting reading is still a huge part of my job and one of my favorites, integrating technology into curriculum projects and managing our library makerspace have increasingly become priorities. Our makerspace is a huge part of our student-centered library, and it started with our green screens and TouchCast. So I'm a teacher librarian in a middle school at the fabulous Dartmouth Middle School in Dartmouth, Massachusetts. Our students are creative and theatrical, so TouchCast is a great fit for us. I found out about TouchCast when I was hunting around for a good app to use with green screens. I really just stumbled upon it, and I love it. So now we've been using TouchCast for almost two years. Initially, I got one green screen kit from Amazon, but when I saw how excited students were about the green screen, I went ahead and painted three more walls green in my library, with approval, of course. Since then, two teachers have purchased or won their own green screen kits for their classrooms. We're TouchCast crazy around here. We love TouchCast for three main reasons. Number one, creativity and collaboration. 
TouchCast is awesome for addressing 21st century skills. Students have to work together and write creative scripts that bring together content and digital storytelling. Number two, the final product is awesome. Our students are very proud of their final products and get excited about sharing it with their peers, their parents, and the wider community. And three, using TouchCast improves oral performance skills. We use the PV Legs rubric from pvlegs.com to assess our students' performance, and we have seen dramatic improvement as students have done more and more video projects. Some of our projects have included newscasts on Newton's Laws for science class, natural disaster videos for ELA, like this one about the Boston snowstorm of 1978, rap videos like this one on Pythagorean theorem for math class. How fun is that? videos for social studies on the American Revolution, and our award-winning video on Yugoslavia in the 1990s and Zlata's Diary. This last video won second place in a national TouchCast contest and earned us this awesome Best EduCast badge. Woot woot! Students and I have shared TouchCast at two conferences so far in the last year. We were at MassQ in October, and in January we presented at Learn Launch. We had an awesome time, and educators from around the country were interested to learn how TouchCast could be used in their classrooms. Most recently, National Junior Honor Society students used TouchCast to make a commercial for our local community television channel. The commercial advertising advertises an upcoming Green Up Day for our community and has been viewed hundreds of times on YouTube and Dartmouth Community Television. My next goal is to start using TouchCast more to flip my classroom and encourage other teachers in my school to do the same. You can see all our TouchCasts on our Library TouchCast channel right here. So what are you waiting for? Start using TouchCast today. You can follow what my students and I are up to on Instagram and you can always ask me questions um, or contact me on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Greetings and thank you for checking out my TouchCast and building student ownership of learning and sharing your brand as a school. I'm excited to be serving as a TouchCast ambassador for the 2015-2016 school year and sharing some of the ways I utilize this amazing resource in my school. My name is Billy Spicer. I currently work at Isaac Fox Elementary, which is part of Lake Zurich Community Unit School District 95 in suburban Chicago. My district includes five elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school. My current role splits my time between a fifth grade classroom and as an integration specialist to support the needs of the other elementary buildings. This has allowed me time to continue working with a group of homeroom students, but also work and coach other teachers as they look for new challenges and amping up their technology integration. This TouchCast will be focused on a few of the ways I've used TouchCast app to empower students in taking ownership of their own learning, connecting the classroom to the living room, and sharing the brand of our school and the other elementary buildings. I hope some of these ideas and stories will prove beneficial for you and your students or teachers as you continue to push for active and authentic learning in your own classrooms and buildings. Up first, student empowerment. When students are empowered, they learn more and they learn better. Empowered students are motivated, confident, and ready to tackle challenges when faced with new learning. One way TouchCast can help empower learners is by providing them with a blank canvas from which to construct meaning or to build an artifact of learning. In my fifth grade classroom, students recently composed an original poem in connection with our poetry unit. Students were asked to craft a poem about who they are based on the I am from framework. After taking this piece through the writing process, students created their own TouchCast video where they read their original poem while using a few of the V apps to visually enhance their reading. For some students, the ability to start with the images and visuals first provided a different learning modality. Students who are reluctant writers or hard self-starters instead did research at home in gathering photos to use in their poem based on the guidelines and then crafted the written piece once they had decided on the visuals. Using TouchCast in this way is just one method teachers can leverage when thinking of differentiating for a wide variety of learners. Here are a few quick samples of these poems. I am from my Feldman blanket, from video games and stupid excuses. I am from my big white house and tablet and the dinner table. I am from the flowers in my backyard and the big fat tree.
whose limbs I know as they were my own. I am from Tashkent and Jewish religion, from food from Max, Alex, and Claire, from eating and playing video games, and from watching movies. I am from Lotion Baby, from One Direction merchandise and beanies. I am from shared rooms and the stench of Bath and Body Works. I am from the apple tree in Halmani and Hanabiji's backyard and the pear blossom tree in the front yard. Another recent use of TouchCast in our poetry unit focused on answering the essential question, what is imagery? TouchCast even tweeted out this idea in April during National Poetry Month. The idea simply asked students to first find a poem that affected them on an emotional level. They then had to gather photo evidence that corresponded with the imagery they had as mind movies while reading the poem. Using TouchCast, students then crafted a Poetry Slam video where they read the poem while using the V-Apps to provide the imagery of the poem. When thinking of ways to connect the classroom or school to the living rooms of our families, my students were looking for a way to create their own podcast or vlog update. Enter TouchCast. Easy decision. So, my students set out to write a job application for staff writers, on-air talent, and a production crew. Each week, a different set of students would be tasked with writing the script for our classroom update. And at the end of each week, usually on a Thursday, students would record the weekly updates, which would then be shared out on our classroom Twitter account, our kid blog page, and on our website. Students, of course, loved sharing out what we were working on in class, but the parents also enjoyed hearing it from the perspective of the class. Take a look at one of the student-created TouchCast updates. Good morning, fellow Spicebergians. I'm Spencer, as you all know. And I'm Brooke. And Spiceburger News New starts right now. Take it away, me. Let's start off with reading. We have been reading a memoir book about John Skyska's life. So far, we are on chapter 31, John's Side of the Mountain. In past generations, the practice of reading aloud was an enjoyable way for adults to expose children to the world of language and to model the skill and pleasure of reading. In addition, reading aloud represented an opportunity to share ideas, values, and traditions and to provide a springboard for discussion of the important issues of life. Unfortunately, literacy rates continue to decline despite dozens of literacy programs in place. One way we can try to combat this issue is to invite all stakeholders into reading and more importantly, reading and listening aloud to others. To learn more about the research into reading aloud, click here. At another school in my district, I helped them leverage TouchCast to meet their needs of participating in the One School, One Book project. The goal of this project is to create a culture of literacy in every home. Recording and sharing each chapter through TouchCast videos allows everyone to participate and following along in the book. You can learn more about this program by clicking the link here. The last aspect I want to share when using TouchCast is sharing your story as a school. What type of narrative are you weaving for your students, parents, and community members? When I heard Eric Scheninger speak about using social media to tell our story and embrace the idea of branding our schools, I immediately came to TouchCast to help me. Eric's message immediately hit a nerve in me. He hit the nail on the head when he said, we as lead learners in our schools have to devote time to branding our school and telling our story. Otherwise, you risk someone else writing the narrative for you. If you don't believe me, just turn on the news or click on an article online and you'll see the types of stories that get top billing when it comes to education. Instead, Eric says a brand in education can build support, admiration, and respect for the honorable work teachers do each day for students. One way I've used TouchCast in sharing our brand here at Isaac Fox Elementary is in developing a daily morning newscast. This has helped provide insight into our school activities and initiatives, but also allow students to lead the way. So this year, I started the Isaac Fox News, which is recorded each morning with two on-air anchors. The beautiful part about using TouchCast for this initiative is that it does not need to be live. 
Many classrooms do not have sufficient time to view the newscast straight away each morning as they have to report to a specials class. Recording it and then posting it to our TouchCast channel allows viewing to occur whenever it is appropriate for each classroom. It of course also allows viewership from parents and community members possible. Here's a clip from one of our student-led newscasts. Good morning, Isaac Fox. It's Thursday, March 17th, 2016, and time for your news. Hello, I'm Spencer. And I'm Chloe. Would you all please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance. My principal has even jumped in on the TouchCast train. One of her goals this year was to effectively communicate with the school community in terms of happenings around the school. After seeing the power of TouchCast in some of our early newscasts, she asked me for a brief tutorial in creating her own and also establishing her own TouchCast channel. I hope you've enjoyed this TouchCast showcasing some of the ways my students, principal and I have harnessed the app in student empowerment, connecting the classroom to the living room, and sharing the school's brand. If you'd like to learn more about me, my classroom, my passions, or what I'm up to, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Edmodo. I'll also be at ISTE this summer, so be sure to connect if you too will be in Denver. Thanks again for watching, and happy touchcasting!